Welcome to ISL 2020. The ISL welcomes you to Budapest, our home for the next five weeks, home to swimming reimagined, where the fastest swimmers in the world have gathered, looking to lead their team to be the champions. And we have three of the top four teams from a season ago here in Budapest, including the defending champions, Energy Standard, as we begin our first of 13 matches. And we are so glad you decided to join us as well for Swimming Reimagined, alongside three-time Olympic gold medalist Rowdy Gaines. Hi, I'm Bernie Gunther. Rowdy, if you're a fan of swimming, it does not get any better than this. 10 teams, fastest swimmers in the world, all trying to buy their team to be a champion. And what a way to start, right? I mean, you've got three of the four best teams from last year, including the defending champions. The two best swimmers on the planet, male and female, great depth. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now we start with last year's MVP in Sarah Schoistrom. She led Energy Standard to the championship a season ago. And she can do it all. Sprints, no doubt about it. 50 free, 100 free, 100 fly. She can go up to 200 freestyle. Big reason why Energy Standard is the defending champion. And for the Cali Condors, the ultimate weapon may be Caleb Dressel. He could swim nine events this weekend. He's the number one rated swimmer in the league. You could put him in anywhere. And he's the best male swimmer on the planet, no doubt about it. And believe me, if they are going to have a chance, they're going to be counting a lot on Caleb Dressel. Take a look at our opening day schedule. We'll see Caleb Dressel race right away in the Hunter Butterfly and in the 50 freestyle he's scheduled. And of course, you get nine points for first place as we get things started with the women's 100 Butterfly, our first event of ISL 2020. And man, is this event <laughs> loaded, Rowdy. Oh boy, what a race to start, right? Kendall Stewart. Katie McLaughlin in one and two for the LA Current. Our defending MVP, and Sarah Choice from 13 wins a season ago, is going to be right in the middle in lane number four. But the big battle for her is going up against Kelsey Dolly, and these two seem like they go back and forth. The best American butterfly by far, and she could be a huge factor for Cali. And Dahlia joined this season with rookie Erica Brown. We'll be interested to see how fast she goes. And in seven and eight will be the New York Breakers. And Jeanette Otison, a year ago, she was a member of the London Roar. She now joins the New York Breakers again. You get nine points for first place, all the way down to just a point for eighth place. Well, you, you've got to believe everything's going to happen in lanes four and five in this first race. You, you've got the 10 fastest times in history between Schoistrom and Dahlia. Schoistrom has six of them, Dahlia the other four. World record holder Sarah Schoistrom right in the middle in lane number four. And we talk a lot about Kayla Dressel, who we'll see next, but this women's team for Cali is amazing. In fact, they were the best team by far on the women's side last year, and they return a lot of great swimmers and add that Erica Brown. Zerkova swimming well early on at the top of the pool in lane number eight. Well, Schoistrom just looking really solid right now, right in the middle of that red cap. You can see her taking out the easy early lead, only swimmer under 26 at 25-9, Bernie. Schoistrom turns first, followed by Serkova and Erica Brown. Brown trying to move up for the Cali Condors, but it's going to be Schoistrom turning first, 25 meters to go. 
And this is where Jaunty Skinner, the head coach of Cali, said Erica Brown could be a huge factor. It's still going to be Shoystrom, though. Dahlia Brown trying to get chased, but it's going to be Sarah Shoystrom getting the win, touching the wall first. An energy standard. They go 1 2 in the Hunter Butterfly. That's 16 points. Unbelievable start. I mean, it, if you had to picture a perfect start for the defending champion to gain that momentum that you need, it is 1-2, baby. That is 16 points. Nobody even close behind that. And you can see those two red caps coming down the stretch, Bernie. What a start for the champs. Energy standard goes 1-2. Cali Condor is 3-4 in the 100-meter butterfly. And again, it's all about chasing those points for your team and for the defending champions and the defending MVP. That's a great way for her to start off ISL 2020. All right, here we go. It is time now to bring onto the pool deck the number one rated swimmer in the ISL. That's one of the great things you'll see this season is there's been a huge change as far as this rating system where we get a chance to rank the swimmers top to bottom. You know, it's interesting though, he, he, he doesn't even rank in the top 10 historically as far as times go, short course meters. World record holder, long course. And there he is, Caleb Dressel, ISL record holder in four events. He's going to be in lane five right there in the middle. He won 13 events, but right next to him in lane number four, Chad Laclo. He's the world record holder in this event. For energy standard, he scored 190 and a half points. And you can see this race has the number one swimmer in the ISL and the number six swimmer in the ISL. And that's not just in this race, that's overall. Yeah, and, and that's what's so amazing about these two swimmers. They have been going head to head now for years and he's taken the mantle in the 100 meter long course. Well, Close still owns the short course. Seven of the 10 fastest times in history by that guy right there. Dressel flies off the block, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a thing of beauty to watch him. He's already a tick ahead just on the start. The first 15 meters, nobody in the world is better. Energy Standard already with a five-point lead over the Cali Condors as we just get underway, but also swimming well at the bottom of the pool. Maxine Rooney, we talked to him beforehand. He was ready to go. We, we were just talking to him 10 minutes ago, and he felt really good about where he was at. He was the guy that was ranked second in the world last year to Caleb Dressel, and nobody's really expecting much from him, but look at that. Maxine Rooney, Tom Shields, Shields at the bottom of the pool, and one and two. Dressel trying to come home, but look at this. L.A. Current, can they pull the upset? It is. They do. Wow. And look close, shut out. Tom Shields, 49-58. Maxine Rooney. First and third, that's 15 points for the LA Current. And they close out the number one rated swimmer in the ISL as he finishes second in his first race. I can tell you, nobody saw that coming. No doubt the best start. He, you know, he is unbelievable. The reaction time he has and the energy that is stored in the body and then just explodes off those blocks and off the turn. But boy, all of a sudden, you see at the bottom of your screen, how about Tom Shields, outside smoker, and the rookie. The rookie gets it done for third, unbelievable. And look at this, jackpot time for the first time. Tom Shields was so far ahead of Jan Swakowski and Craig Zerk that he steals away three more points. So the LA Current able to score 18 points in the 100-meter butterfly. Jackpot time, that's a new rule. We expected Caleb Dressel would be the one <laughs> that would take advantage of that. What a start, Sarah Showstrom getting her hand on the wall first. Meanwhile, a little upset by Tom Shields. And early on, the Condors in the lead.
goodness me, we've just had two races and so much entertainment already. We've had an upset, can you believe it, Mark Foster? Let's start with the men because that was an upset. We did not expect that. Chad Leclerc in fourth. Yeah, and all this Caleb Dressel being beaten as well. We built those two up and they are arguably the world's two's best 100 butterfly swimmers. But Tom Shields, American record holder. And it's not about what you've done before, it's about what you do today. And he, and he brought it on the outside lane, out of the way. They weren't thinking about him. Bang, he gets in. And what about Maxi Mooney as well? Because that was some performance. The guys in commentary saying that they were speaking to him just before and he was feeling great. He certainly proved it out there. Yeah, it's one of these things when you come to these sort of competitions that like said, it doesn't matter what form you've done before, but it's about where you want to be. And it's sort of about using these opportunities. It's a long five weeks. I'm sure some of the other guys have some up and down swims, but we've seen obviously Chad and Caleb start slow. They didn't mean to, but they've not turned up yet. No, but Sarah Schostrom did not start slow. Uh, Energy Standard with a 1-2 in the women's. Quick thought on that. Uh, 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 that's what I expected from Caleb. <laughs> uh, she's, she's on it. She's always consistent. She will get tired. She will have one or two off swims, possibly, but she showed her dominance there. But the big thing was one and two for Energy Standard. That's massive points. It is a massive indeed. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe we've had an upset already in the first two races of ISL 2020. Let's head back to the pool deck in just a few seconds' time because the action will continue live. Enjoy. Well, early on here on match one in Budapest, only one point separating the Cali Condors and Energy Standard in LA Current. Our next event on the pool deck, women's 200 meter backstroke. And Rowdy, this is a field that we get a chance to see some new swimmers jumping in, as well as a veteran and Emily Seabom, who's gonna be one of the favorites in the middle in lane number four. But first we meet the LA Current, Ali Deloof, and we're going to see Helena Gasson out of New Zealand in lane number two. A veteran group for Energy Standard in three and four, and Mary Sophie Harvey and Emily Seabom. She's been competing at the world championship level for 13 years, going back to 2007. I think everybody's interested to see what Vita Nelson has. She comes in. A rating of just 183, but that's because she hasn't swam yet, Rowdy. I mean, Bita Nelson is an American record holder, national champion, a really great short course swimmer. We'll see her leading the way in lane number five. And Tevin Waddle, Chloe Golding in lane seven and eight of the New York Breakers. They have some work to do because they trail here early on by 12 points. I think Energy Standard looks very strong here. Harvey is more of an IM specialist. Seabom, though, has done it all for her country and certainly for Energy Standard. Five Olympic medals, 24 World Championship medals. You see Bita Nelson, though, had a spectacular career in the United States at Wisconsin in this short course type of format. Maybe one of the greatest performances in history at the NC2As back in 2018. Nelson looking for her first ISL win for the Cali Condors, or will it be Emily Seabom, the veteran? She's one of uh, just a few Australians that are here in Budapest. Yeah, and, and you can see why she is going to be critical in the backstrokes for Energy Standard. You know Shoystrom, what she's capable of doing. The one thing we know that's not going to happen, that she'll swim backstroke. She probably could, but she won't. So backstroke and breaststroke are out for her. The freeze and fly, no doubt about it. So this is why Seabom is going to kind of carry that load in the backstroke, at least early on, on paper, Bernie, for energy standard. Early lead, 75 meters into it. Emily Seabom, she had a half second lead. Very smooth there, great shoulder rotation. See how still her head is, right in the middle of that red cap. Good flick of the turn there, very comfortable going out about a half a second ahead of Nelson, 003 going out. Halfway through the energy standard, first and third. Again, it is about the points, and if you could be close to your teammate, 
you can really add to your total. You already see how tight this match is early on with only one point separating first and third. Boy, look, look at the turn, though, Nelson. If, we, if you watch this next turn, you can really see she's got a lot left in the tank, I believe. Watch this turn, because C-Bob kind of pops up. She's to the left or to the right right there. See how she pops up? Look at Nelson, still under, still under. Boom, she pops up right there. What a great turn by Nelson. And Nelson picking up her tempo. Seabom answering back. Energy standard Cali Condor is battling it out here in the final 25. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Could that be the sign right there? Nelson has pulled even. It's a race to the wall for the nine points, and it's going to be Emily Seabom holding on by two tenths. What a race. What a race. 29 one hundredths of a second after 200 meters and the veteran there's a reason why she was so good last year in the isl and that she's won 24 world championship medals because she's been here before she knows exactly what to expect see the depth that nelson gets here right there but there's that great pop-up. That's what she's so good at, breaking out of that hole, Bernie. And then you can see at the end of the race, a couple of tenths of a second, not much. Could we see a jackpot here? Because last place was seven tenths of a second behind. Look at that, a jackpot of six yeah. extra points going to Emily Seabom. So Energy Standard scores 15 oh. points. I say seven tenths, seven seconds behind. And Energy Standard now has a one-point lead over the Cali Condors. 36 points for Energy Standard, 35 points for the Cali Condors, and L.A. Current currently third. But this is another good event for L.A. Current. Ryan Murphy, he comes in, he'll be in lane number one as the ISL record holder. A year ago, he went 148-81 in Las Vegas. And Kenny Relaunch, six wins a season ago. He's going to be in the middle in lane number four. But the big question, Roddy, is we're still curious what type of form these athletes are going to be in. And the 200s will be a huge sign of what kind of shape they're in and how sharp they are. I mean, anybody can swim a 50. I, I, I say that with some trepidation, obviously. No, no harm intended on the 50 freestylers, but... You know, it takes a different kind of mindset to swim a 200 to 400. So we're going to see a lot in this race, just like we saw in the women. Seabom, Bita Nelson, they just proved that they could do it here. And Reloth and Murphy, boy, they've been going back and forth, back and forth. You saw that ISL and stat right there. Unbelievable what these guys are capable of doing. And right now, I mean, gosh, we're early, but current, standard, current, standard. I mean, it's back and forth and it doesn't look like it's going to be any different here although you have three of the fastest swimmers in history in this event three of the top 10 in history right here yeah because Relov is backed up by Clement Kolesnikov who is a huge backup again that's the key to ISL Rowdy is you got to have some depth yeah, and, and, and I think if you if you talk about Cali, you, 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 there's really no true superstar on this team. And I say that again with some trepidation because you're looking at a true superstar in Ryan Murphy, but he can only swim backstroke. They don't have a Caleb Dressel. They don't have a, 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 um, a, a swimmer that can really put it together, Sarah Shoyston, for example. So they've got to really count on these big points in the backstroke with Murph. There's no doubt about it. Radislav Kaveki is in the lead. He won this event in College Park a season ago for the Cali Condors, pushing the pace early on. And there's a big difference between the lane assignment between Murphy and Kaveki, who's in the middle of the pool. That's one of the differences is you get to swim with your teammate in ISL. Well, Kaveki, I mean, think about that one-two punch. We keep talking about Reloff. But look at the one-two punch they have just in the backstroke alone with Kaveki and Reloff, who, by the way, is a much better back half swimmer. He is a better 200 backstroker normally. But again, we have no idea what kind of shape these guys are coming in. All right, it's going to be a race 
down to the wire this final 50 meters. Cali Condor is trying to get their second event win. Kaveki turns first. Ryan Murphy trying to give him chase. This is clear cut. No closeness here. Relov try to close, but it's going to be the Condors. Radislav Kaveki 148-51. Murphy will finish second, about two tenths behind. And it's first and sixth for the Cali Condors, second and eighth for the LA Current, and third and seventh for Energy Standard. Yeah, that, that's that's where the energy energy standard slipped just a little bit, and that's good news for everybody else. I mean, when you think about it, third and seventh, at least they'll come back to the field a little bit. Current staying really strong there with a second silver with Murphy. Both good times, both of them under 149. I'm talking about Kaveki and Murph, both of them uh, 148.5, 148.7. So, but the points is what's big, and it's great to see Cali get in there for some first place points. Kaveki has <laughs> the Condors flying early on here. They have jumped into the lead, leading by eight points. 50 points for the Cali Condors early on. No one has beaten Energy Standard since ISL began. Can Kaveki and the Condors be the first one to dethrone the defending champs? two races down and a win for Energy Standard but also a win for the Condors. They are looking quite good. Kaveki in great form there. It was a great swim. I think the thing is it's one of these things that we're going to see throughout these few weeks that it's not about what they've done before. It's about what happens when they come in here. And, and he dominated that race. Rylov, in my mind, was going to win it by, by a country mile, but it didn't. So it just shows you after what's been going on, people haven't been training. Some people have been training in different ways. We're going to see some indifferent results to start with. Well, talking of training in different ways, that is what Lily King did over the quarantine period. And the women's 200 breaststroke is up next. She was undefeated in ISL 2019. Let's remind ourselves of what a run that was. Lily King is the Olympic champion. She's been on fire at every competition at top of her game. She's so powerful. She's the queen of breaststroke. The queen of breaststroke. King has the Condors flying early on. Lily King, four for four, trying to get her sixth win. She's gonna win it. Lily King getting it done. Look at King. She is unbeaten. Her 11th ISL breaststroke win. And Lily King, 12 for 12 this season. Exceptional, exceptional. is yet to be beaten. Lily King unbeaten last season in ISL 2019, ranked as the number eight rated swimmer in all the ISL, the record holder in the league in the 50 breaststroke, 100 breast, and 200 breast. And she will be tested here as we bring you back in for the women's 200 meter breaststroke. And Friday again, this is a 200 of the stroke, so again, the training really does play a big role. Yeah, and, and when uh, Mark talked to Lily earlier, she seemed to be in good spirits and said that she had been putting in the training, either whether it was in a pond or in a pool, she was getting after it. And I know she did not let up at all. Bria Larson right there could be a factor. We were on the plane with her uh, a few days ago, and she felt very comfortable, switched over to Energy Standard, and uh, there is Lily flying along. 16 for 16. Wins not only individually, really, but every relay that you swam on Rowdy, they were victorious. Yeah, and, and again, we'll go back to what we were talking about earlier and the fact that that medley relay is going to be incredibly important. And we'll get to more of that later on, obviously, but uh, and Lily King could be a big, big factor in that. 23 years old. She scored that. 157 and a half points, looking to add nine points to the total here in ISL 2020. But again, 
Brie Larson added to Energy Standard. The skins more up for grabs than they were a year ago because it was only freestyle skins a season ago. Skins this year in ISL 2020 are going to be determined by the winner of the medley relay, which will be our final event on day number one. So not only do we have the jackpot times that got inserted in, but we also have this relay. And that's where, because of the difference sometimes we've seen for how much Lily King is ahead of the field, right. she could be the ultimate difference maker for the Condors. And, and she is potentially that game changer. And look at this. This is why. This is the first 50. She's a body length ahead at the first 50. 30.4, by the way, going out. She's already way over a second ahead of everybody else in the field. And you are so spot on, Bernie, in the fact that that's the difference maker in that medley relay because I can guarantee you if the women win the medley relay, they're going to pick the 50 breaststroke. They're not picking the 50 free. Well, and it might be a difference, too, if Lily King now deciding she's thinking jackpot times, jackpot times, jackpot times. No reason just to touch the wall first by a second or two. Let's well, take down the field and get maybe the whole lot of points. Well, let's look at it. Here, she's out 105-2 right now, and she is almost five seconds ahead of the last place swimmer right now. So you can bet that jackpot is probably going to come into play here, unless for some reason, and I could see this in this first race, back off a little bit, do just enough to win the race. I've never seen Lily do that, by the way. But I go back to that stat again you were talking about. 16 for 16. Dude, can you imagine not losing a race last year in the ISL? That is just incredible. Now she's she coming back turns. to the field a little bit. Is that on purpose? Uh, I don't know. But all of a sudden, you know, there is some people kind of creeping up on it. Emily Escobedo, Molly Renshaw, New York Breakers, out in lane seven and eight. Escobedo is in lane seven. Renshaw is in lane number eight. And King turning first, trying to go 17 for 17. This is, this is where I think Lily King is such a professional because she, I think she knew exactly where she was in the race. I'm still going to win the race by a body length, but I'm going to come back because I've got a couple more ahead of me. King still unbeaten, 217-11. Breakers finish second and third, but man, is King going to cash in here in the 200-meter breaststroke. Uh, you know why that race was so cool, Bernie, for Lily King? Is the fact that that time, 217-1, was only eight one-hundredths of a second slower than her lifetime best, in which she did it to win the overall in Las Vegas last year. And look at that stroke. Look at the height she gets and the extension she gets out front. And there's that huge lead at the end. She never compromises her body position for speed oh what a start that's scary for everybody else and that's her worst worst event of the of all the breaststrokes the 50 and 100 she's even better in and look at this she gets oh, six yeah. extra points so 15 points scored by lily king and now cali leads energy standard 70 points to 42 points they are cashing in on the jackpots here early on. L.A. Current, Kiara Smith disqualified. And Mark yeah, Stout really pulled up with Lily King. Saving a little bit towards the end? Uh, not really. It just kind of died a little bit. Um, I don't really know. I, kind of, I got a little distracted about halfway through and just kind of tried to finish the race. So, so, so what, have you, what else did you come up this evening? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. So I got the 50 left and, uh, and I'm at the relay later. So. Looking forward to a good rest of the day racing. So your first race out, 17 from 17. It's looking good for the Cali Condors. Looking good, for sure. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. 15 points scored by Lily King in that 200 breaststroke, cashing in on the jackpot time rule. And now on the pool deck, it's time for the men's 200 meter breaststroke. This is an interesting race as well. Marco Koch, New York Breakers, they've been very good in breaststroke. Brie Larson swam for them a year ago. We saw them go second and third in that last event. But you got Shimanovich in lane number four for Energy Standard. 
Josh Prino, LA Kern seem like they have a, a good solid team here that could challenge in this 200 breaststroke as well. Well, Pernod, you, you remember back in 16, silver medalist in the Olympic Games. You've got Lacona, spectacular NCAA career at Texas. Cortez, one of the great NC2A swimmers in history. He's a gold medalist. But you got to believe somebody like Coke. Well, here's Coke who, by the way, Bernie, is in lane seven with the breakers. Coke needs to win this. If the New York breakers are going to have a chance to keep moving up, they're going to have to rely on the wins where they're predicted to. Coke, second fastest performer in history in this event. Nobody else is even in the top 25 as you go across the board. So this is an event that Coke should win. He did win this event a year ago in Budapest. He scored nine points for his team. He looks pretty smooth out the first 50. He's at the top of the pool in the black cap in lane number seven. Shamanovic though touching first after the first 50. 27-9 for Shemanovic, who has been a, a huge burst under the scene internationally here the last couple of years. Will be a, a big factor for the men's breaststroke for Energy Standard. Boy, they will be saying that name a lot, right? Energy Standard, Energy Standard. Boy, they are just loaded top to bottom. That's why they're so good. They, they, they just have a tremendous amount of depth. They may not win an event like this, but you can guarantee they're going to be second or third. And look at this, Shemanovic touching just behind Marco Cook, 59 seconds, point one. And Cook really picking up his tempo here in the third 50. Yeah, 31 there for Shemanovic on that 50 right there. Cook is really starting to take off. Now you see him to the left with the black cap. There's Shemanovic right there in the middle with the red cap. Clearly those two guys are head and shoulders above everybody else. And look at Cook go on this third 50. Get his split on this third 50. Good gravy. Marco Koch wow. has moved into the lead. 31.2 on that third 50. 31.2 and Shemanovic went 32.1. He outsplit him by a full second on that 50 right there. And this is going to be a huge victory for the New York Breakers. Breakers trying to get their first win of ISL 2020. And the win is going to go to the German, Marco Koch. He touches first, 202.1. I think you're going to see some jackpot here. Really nice swim for Coke. 2021, just about two seconds off his lifetime best. But right now, everything is about scoring points, valuable points for your team. There is no question about it. They were so critical for the New York Breakers, who came in here as huge underdogs, one of four American teams. Not a lot of expectations for that team. Everybody knows Michael Andrew, but now they know the name Coke. And as a team, they are going to score 19 points. And look at that. He steals fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. No points for the Cali Condors in that 200 breaststroke. That is huge. That hurts. No doubt. This is why the jackpot, you, you cannot let up on any race. You got to put yourself out there on every single race. All right, it's our first opportunity for double points. 18 points yeah. goes to the relay winner. Women's 4x100 freestyle relay. And rather, there's some big strategy that goes into this relay. How do you want to set up your lineup? Because again, you don't want your relay team to have their points stolen away jackpot wise. And, 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 and the thing is, Bernie, this relay, as critical as it is on paper, double points. I mean, you can't get more important than that. It's not as important as the medley relay. The medley relay is even more critical. So do you hold back somebody that would normally be on the medley relay from taking them off here? I'm not so sure. But on the men's side, you're going to see that maybe perhaps play a big factor. Energy Center, they picked up Pernell Bloom. She's a huge pickup. Yeah. There's a relay team of <laughs> Bloom, Maddie Bannock, Sarah Schoestrom. Olympic gold medalist Bloom was. And Siobhan Hahi. 
the breakers have been on a roll. They've really used the breaststroke to their advantage as they have moved now into second place. It's Cali Condors first with 70 points, breakers second with 55 points, Energy Standard third with 48, and the LA Current currently fourth. Yeah, this jackpot, fun. It, it, it's just crazy. I love it. I love it. The fact that you cannot let up, the same thing goes with the relays here. And you've got these B relays that are going to be way behind the A's. And what a leadoff we got. You got B down there in lane one, Abby Weitzel. Right there. Fastest 50 yard freestyler in history, 20.9, the only swimmer ever under 21. How about second fastest performer? Erica Brown, Tennessee. Cow going at it with the first race. And for the breakers, they picked up Cassia Vacek. She started off very good at the top of the walk, and they continue that momentum. But Javon Hawhey, what yeah. a year she had oh. a season ago. Hawhey a season ago, she was a part of the D.C. train. That's a huge pickup for Energy Center because Hawhey was dominant in the middle distance freestyle events a season ago. Uh, she really was, and, and really more known as a 200 freestyler. She's also very good in the 100, but better in the 200, and that could be scary for the rest of the field based on what we're seeing here this first 100. Well, Hawhey is going to do her work. Energy Standard out first, 51-5. Wow, what a split. I mean, she out split Vasek by over a half a second to start. Bloom now swimming for Energy Standard. They're listed as Energy Standard number two. You know that James Gibson, the head coach of Energy Standard, he likes to play the game. Yeah. Well, Bloom, as I said, one gold in the 50 freestyle back in Rio. She's still a good, solid 200 freestyler, but don't forget who's on the end for Energy Standard. And Olivia Schmoliga swimming now for the Cali Condors. The Condors have pulled even here as we're halfway home. And the leaders, Beryl Gastadello has L.A. Curran in the lead. And, and, and Bernie, this is why this relay really is based so much on the depth. You've got to have great depth because if for some reason it comes down to choice from being a second, second and a half behind, well, it, it may be tough to catch the field. And right now, though, energy standards still looking good. Bannock looking great as a free agent, by the way. L.A. Curran still with a slight lead, a half a second ahead of Energy Standard. Anchor leg coming up here in this 4x100 freestyle relay. Very Katie close. McLaughlin is gonna anchor the LA Current relay team. Sarah Scheustrom is gonna anchor for Energy Standard. This is the lead they need. I mean, if you look at the lead, they have to have this much on Sarah Scheustrom. I mean, you look at 235.88, so one, 1. 1.3 seconds she goes behind. Can she make that much up? Natalie Hines diving into the pool for the Cali Condors now. L.A. Curran still holding on, but here comes yeah. Sarah Schoistrom. Here comes Energy Standard. Yeah, Energy they, Standard into the lead. And, and, and Schoistrom just made up a full second and went into the lead. She went in 1.3 behind, went out in first place at the 50, so she caught her by a full second. That first 50 alone, she's going to win this race. Natalie Hines swimming a great race, by the way. Joystrom is gonna help earn at least 18 points, I should say, for Energy Standard. She touches first. Energy Standard with another relay win. That is just huge. She went in 1.3, outsplit everybody in the field there by 2.6 seconds. That's why you want a choice from on your team. That's why you need a superstar. Energy Standard, nine relay wins a season here. They win their 10th. But how about Lily King? 17 for 17 in her ISL career.
Welcome back to the studio. I'm delighted to see joining us is the GM of Ellie Current, Lenny Kreselberg. You were so nervous in that last race. You couldn't even stand on set. And we got a massive fist pump at the end there because Ellie Current came in second. Were you delighted? Yeah, very much <laughs> so. We're pretty excited about the, our uh, women's relay. They did an awesome job. And it's really, we were looking forward to this relay. and. Uh, very happy with that. Well, that was that the outcome you wanted? Second place, well, obviously first, but well, ideally we wanted the first place, of course. <laughs> I mean, we're all competitors here. We're looking to win, but nonetheless, it was a great swim, great times for all the ladies. So we're excited. I, I was going to say that the, the halfway mark for the first session, you're sitting in second place. I must feel good. Very good. We're. It's just. A, it's a great start for us. I mean, that's. You know, the athletes haven't competed in seven months, so it's been a really long break, and you never know how that first ma competition is going to go. And so far, we're looking really good, and we talked about that. Just go relax and swim your races, and so far, so good. Awesome. Well, can we rewind to the men's 100-meter fly? Because Tom Shields and Maxime Rooney, what an unbelievable f performance beating Caleb Dressel and Chad Leclerc. Yeah, th that's one of our best re <laughs> best events, and we, we know we got one of the top two guys in the world, and we were really excited. We were looking forward to this event, and I, I think this is just, we're going to continue to get better and better. Well, Lenny, thanks very much for joining us in the studio. It's been great to have you here, GM of LA Current. We will be back very soon for some live action. See you in a minute. Welcome back to ISL 2020. We have already seen the top-ranked ISL swimmer in action, Caleb Dressel, but we can remind ourselves of what form he was in last year in Las Vegas when he set his world record. Check this out. Caleb Dressel coming off a performance where he won eight medals at the World Championships. The best starter in the world. He's taken it to Manadu. Manadu is powerful though. He's a lot bigger than Dressel. Wow, what a wall for Caleb Dressel. 2024, that is a new world record. Oh. Fastest swim ever on the planet. That guy is special. Well, that was a reminder of the extraordinary Caleb Dressel last year. He didn't get the result he wanted in the 100-meter fly at the beginning of the season. What has he got to do in the 50-meter free? Uh, win. <laughs> <laughs> but, Plain and simple. But the interesting thing's going to be, it's obviously going to be him and Manadu again, I think. I mean, I said that, obviously, in the 100-fly with him and, him and Chad. And in comes Tom Shields. So and it's, any, it's anyone's game. But this guy, I mean, I get goosebumps every time I see him swim. swim Because his start is better than anybody. He's taken it to a new level. The fact that he broke the world record became the world's fastest swimmer in Las Vegas last year. I had the world record once. It's kind of cool being the fastest person on the planet. But but he's, it he's it got ends a, at some point, he's, right? Exactly. He's got a second faster than me. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. I love how you brought it, your, your world record wow. in there, Mark. Well, let's head back to the pool deck for more live action. Caleb Dressel coming off a performance where he won eight medals at the World Championships. Dressel, the best starter in the world. He's taken it to Manadu. Manadu is powerful, though. He's a lot bigger than Dressel. Wow, what a wall for Caleb Dressel. Special. Same. I, think, yeah. I sort of like session relay, session relay in my head. And it is time to welcome onto the pool deck the fastest man on the planet, Caleb Dressel. Set a world record in the 50 free a year ago at the ISL Championship in Las Vegas going 20-24. But he was upset earlier, if you will, by Tom Shields in the Hunter Butterfly. Yeah, and this is his second event. And you've got some of these other huge horses in here, Proud and Manadu, being fresh. First race for them, so could that be a factor? Michael Andrew could be a huge factor here. There are some 
big, big boys in this race. Yeah, Florent Manadou, the defending or the previous world record holder, I should say. He's going to be in lane number three, uh, lane number four, right next to Caleb Dressel, who's in lane number five. Michael Andrew also in lane number seven. He's fresh. This is his first event of ISL 2020. Good start reaction wise for Dressel, though most of those big guys kind of came up and popped up right there with him. Will they get up underneath this huge wave? Look at that coming into the wall. Look at how close this field is. Maybe a slight lead for Manadu. Manadu trying to get the win for Energy Standard, and he touches the wall first. Dressel beaten for the second time here on day number one as Manadu gets the win. And that is just huge for Energy Standard. We've got a long way to go. We're going to be here for the next five and a half weeks. So we've got a lot of swimming left, but this is kind of a, a momentum builder for Energy Standard, for LA Current, for Tom Shields, for Flo Manadu and the Red Cap. Maybe it just gives them hope. That's all you need against the best swimmer on the planet. Just give me a little hope that I can do it just once. One time is all I need. Two fastest swimmers in the world, by the way, Dressel and Manadu. Flip-flop, though. Manadu takes the win. And 12 points for Flora Manadu. And he's down on the pool deck. Caleb, second swim. Things haven't gone to plan at the moment, but you've got a, a lot more swimming to come. Yeah, um, well, that's not necessarily true. I thought the swims I've had have been great, actually. Um, of course, I'm here to try and get my hand on the wall first, but I think technically they were both pretty sound. The 50 I'm a lot happier with than the fly. I had two guys who were better than me. I'm fine with that. I thought I had a good race plan, but I'd like to get my hand on the wall first next time. I'm guessing for the next five weeks, it's about doing enough to make the semis, then the final, and you'll get faster as these meets go on. Um, no, I'm not sure. I think the plan is ramp it up during the middle of this chunk. Um, so I'm in a good spot right now. We're pretty high volume. I'll ramp it up during the middle and then kind of wean it down towards the final, and that's about it. Well, there's a lot more racing to come, and you're still, a, you're still yeah. the fastest man on the planet. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, a, and the key rowdy for Dressel is the fact that it was still second and third. So as far as the team competition, Cali Condor is still leading Energy Center by 21 points because the, as a team they finished second and third. And now it's time for the women's 50-meter freestyle. And this is a loaded field from top to bottom once again. Yeah, the only one missing is Chroma Vigoyo, who is the top-ranked 50 freestyler in the world with a world record. But we'll be seeing her a little bit later on. She's here with us. Just not tonight. World record holder, Shoystrom, second, third fastest times in history. But look at that trio right there. This is going to be a lot of speed in this race. Shoystrom already swum a couple of times, just getting out of the 400 free relay. Will that take the edge off? Gastadella was so much fun to watch a year ago. She and her teammate, Abby Weitzel, out to a great start, but it's Shoystrom. She turns first with. 25 meters to go. Oh boy, it just, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I mean, it just, right after the 400 free relay, and here she comes, backing it up again. Joystrom with her second win individually, 23-48. Gastadella will touch second, and Olivia Schmoliga third. The, you know what, the, the, the great thing about that swim for Shoystrom is she's 23-4 and she's a half a second ahead of everybody else in the field. A again, it shows you the complete dominance she has as you look at so many of the other great swimmers in there kind of taking off on that start. But look at the red cap in the middle. Great underwaters. That's off that great butterfly she has and then just able to hammer it. Doesn't breathe the last 25. Perfect on the finish, and big, big points for Shoystrom. And remember a year ago, Shoystrom was the MVP of the ISL, and you see why she is the number two rated swimmer in all of the ISL. Energy Standard earning 12 points, trying to narrow their deficit.
But it's the Cali Condor still in the lead early on in day one of match one of ISL 2020. energy standard for the 50 meter freestyle wasn't it because they won both of those races first of all for Manadou defeating Caleb Dressel Caleb Dressel yet to win a swim uh, it's a shock <laughs> <laughs> although when I when I spoke to him he wasn't too fast wasn't too phased and uh, I think the interesting thing was those two last year raced a lot and uh, on the, in the final in Las Vegas um, Caleb broke Manadou's world record by two hundredths of a second and he was in the same race as these two in the middle of the pool side by side and it was epic. I mean when you see the world record broken it's it's amazing at any point but the 50 freestyle is that's the fastest man on the planet. It you really know, is. But how much confidence does that give Manadou? Uh, it'll give him a lot of confidence. But I mean, he's been there and done it before, but he had a couple of years out. He went to play handball for a couple of years in Europe, and now he's gone. Now I'm gonna swim again for Tokyo. That's obviously now gone on for another year, but you're gonna see a lot of these two over the course of these meets, and also for the next year leading up to the Olympics in Tokyo. And what about Sarah Shostrom as well? MVP last year, and two wins from two for her. She really is in fine form for Energy Standard once again. She is, and she's really, really important for the Energy Standard team. I mean, she got MVP last year, and she started off with two wins this year. That's the way she, she finished off last year, winning races. And she is, as the guy said in commentary, she's so dominant. I mean, she hasn't got a weak spot. She doesn't, and she's certainly looking for those jackpot times as well, trying to look for those points as well. Here's a reminder of that women's 50-metre freestyle race mark. She really was fantastic, Sarah Schostrom. I mean, she doesn't breathe at all. Her head is down. You can see the spray coming off her head. She's got an awful lot of power. She comes from butterflies, so her fly kick off the walls is amazing. Head down all the way, arms turning. She just maintains her speed. While others are slowing down, she's just maintaining. Well, fantastic stuff from Energy Standard. Still much more swimming to come. Let's head back down to the pool deck for more action. Hi, back in Budapest, our next event here in the first match of ISL 2020 men's 200 individual medley. Cali Condors with an 18 point lead. And they come in with Andrew Seliskar, who's going to be in lane number four for the LA Current. He comes in as the number four rated swimmer in this event a season ago. It was a good event for the LA Current a season ago. He had the number three and number four swimmer. Damon Voss is going to be in lane number two. We're told that he could be really one of the big rookies of the year as well in lane number two. Yeah, we were talking to head coach John T. Skinner, and he was really high. Jack Roach, another coach on that team, and they were really talking about Voss, how they feel like he's going to be a sleeper, and that's what you need. You need some, some of these guys to kind of break out and get right in there into the mix. Gunnar Bentz was the number six rated swimmer in this event a season ago. He's going to be in lane number five alongside Mark Ceranic. And you see Joe Litchfield, Lewis, out in lane number eight. 200 individual medley. Our next event here in ISL 2020. You can see right there the rating for these swimmers. Gunnar Bentz, the highest rated swimmer in the field. In fact, the only swimmer rated in the top 100. Watch Seliskar, lane one, right in front of you. Hey, come on. Uh, Bernie, you know, you and I were talking about Andrew Seliskar a couple days ago about what a tremendous year he had back in 2018. Came back a little bit in 2019, but was supposed to have been doing a lot of amazing things this summer for the United States at the Olympic Games. Swam for Cal, great butterflyer, great freestyler. No real true 200 IM earn here, except for, I think, Seliskar. I mean, Litchfield probably a little better in the 400. Vince Zoranek probably a little better in the 400 IM. Well, Seliskar won 
five races a year ago. He won the individual medal A in Texas and in Budapest. So he won this race twice, but it's Voss, they yeah. told us. Well, you know, Jonti was right. He said, listen, I really like this Voss. Looking really good here the last couple of days as they were going in. And now a very strong one-two punch. What a pickup for Lenny Kraselberg and the LA Current. Currently, they are swimming one, two, their team currently third behind the Cali Condors and Energy Standard. But this should be some big points if they can finish one, two. And, and I was talking to head coach David Marsh just before the meet started, and he, he said, listen, we've, we've got to get in there and get our upsets going. We can do the job where we're supposed to, but someplace like this, the 200 IM, where you're not expected to win necessarily, now all of a sudden these guys are going to go one, two for the LA Current, and sit, setting in third right now, they're going to move up. Salaskar trying to get his sixth ISL victory in lane one, and LA Current, they go one, two in the 200 IM. Wow, 152.9 for Selaskar. That is a really fast time for the first swim of the season, and Bosch shaking his head, yes. 16 points there for Selaskar and Voss. You don't think those are two happy campers, teammates? And you can bet Lenny and David Marsh are cheering them on from the sidelines. Selaskar is scoring 10 points. LA Current with 17 points, and they've moved into second. Condors leading 112 points. Current second, and Energy Standard third. Women's 200 IM, our next event out of the pool deck. And as you can see, Melanie Margalis, she was a force to be reckoned with in this event a season ago. She is so good at the IM. She really is. She has. She can do it all for the United States. 200 IM, 400 IM, swam on the 800 free relay for the United States in many international competitions. Melanie Margalis, the ISL record holder in the 400 IM. She was unbeaten in that event. Eight wins a season ago. She won the 400 IM in Indy, Naples, College Park, and Vegas. The 200 IM, though, she took in three of the four events that she swam in. And, and, and was really having such a great season last year, not only in the ISL, Bernie, but along the way, heading in to those Olympic Games. She just has got that great, carefree attitude, very relaxed swimmer, always got a smile on her face. Just really enjoyable to watch, to get to know over the last few years. This veteran here. Mark Alice scored 125 points in season one of ISL 2019, trying to get at least nine points here. I would think the 200 IM, just as we saw, this could be another jackpot event. Yeah, it, it, it could be a jackpot event. And of the three events, I think this is, well, and I probably shouldn't say that. I was going to say Margalis might be better in the 400 IM and 200 freestyle, but boy, this 200 IM is such a great event for her. Uh, you really can't say that. And, you know, Butterfly, probably not her best stroke. She gets better on the back half. That's where you're going to have to watch Margalis. Her breaststroke and freestyle are sensational. But early on, it's Abby Wood into the lead. Another event for the New York Breakers who are sitting in fourth place right now. Only seven behind, seven points behind Standard, though. So this is another very critical event for them to win or start to score some points. Look at this potential upset. Would a year ago her best result in the 200 IM was when she finished fifth. Right now, she's leading Margallis, but a whole lot can yeah, change on the breaststroke it, play. It, it, Bernie, this is this is. This is night and day right here from the first hundred to the last hundred for Melanie Margala. She is so good on the back half of her race. I have seen her do it time and time again. I saw it so many times watching on TV, by the way, in, at the ISL last year. And now she goes into arguably her best stroke, the freestyle, in the last 50. Don't take anything away from Wood, though. This is going to be a great race for her to grab second place. Margalis moves into the lead by a half a second, and she will extend it. 
turning into the final 25. Very smooth, in complete control right now. Went in about a body length behind that the 100. Now she'll win by over a body length. Condors, another victory, 204. Melanie Margalis getting the win. And how about Abby Wood, whose best finish a year ago was fifth, moving up to second for the New York Breakers. Look at Callie. They are on fire. It's just the very first meet of the season. Unbelievable. And look at the jackpot points. Ten extra points for Margalis, so the Condors will score <laughs> 24 points. Wow. That is just huge. Well, after not cashing in last year, Energy Standard, they cashed in and they were the ISL champions. Jackpot times being cashed in by the Cali Condors to start the 2020 season. 50 breaststroke onto the pool deck, and the number one swimmer in this event has changed teams. Felipe Lima swimming for Energy Standard in lane number three. Get another look at Michael Andrew, who will swim in lane number seven. But you think Shamanovich and Lima, those two would be two swimmers who would be tough to beat for Energy Standard. They currently find themselves third in the team standings. You know, and look at this guy. I mean, Lima's 35 years old. His Brazilian teammate, Silva, don't forget about him, down there in lane number one. He could be a big factor. Felipe Lima, a year ago, swam for the LA Current, and he dominated this event. Silver at the World Championships in the 50-meter breaststroke. Of course, we're going to have a chance to see Adam Peaty swim later on as we begin the season for the London Roar. Same thing with Katinka Hosu in the 200 IM. We didn't mention her, eight of the 10 fastest times in history. Good start across the board. Michael Andrew jumped off the block first, and Andrew's gonna turn first in lane number seven. Andrew, this is huge for the breakers again. They keep moving up. Tied now for third with Standard, but no, he's not going to get it done. It's going to be Shamanovich, Energy Standard. They go 1-2 in the 50 breaststroke. Wow. Shamanovich, 25-6. He fell apart a little bit on the 200 breaststroke. Not here, baby. Start to finish, 25-6. Andrew faded to fourth there at the end. Nine one-hundredths of a second out of third. And Silva, the old man, grabbing the third place spot for current. 26 points for Energy Standard in that event. Cali Condors do not score a point, and that is huge. It is gonna catapult Energy Standard to with 11 points of the Cali Condors. All right, it is time now to watch Lily King and see if she can remain unbeaten. Lily King, 17 for 17. Molly Hannes right next to her. She's really was a huge sidekick for her a season ago. It seemed like for the Cali Condors, this was such a huge event. They were always getting first and second in this event. Yeah, the Americans are so good in the breaststroke on the women's side. King and Hannes are also teammates. Here, the Cali Condors looking very good on paper anyway. Watch Pilato, the youngster from Energy Standard. She could be a huge star in the making. A lot of people are talking about Pilato becoming the next Lily King. Yes, yeah, she broke the Italian short course meter 50 breaststroke record at just 14 years old. The eighth fastest performance ever in this event. But King, she's still the queen of breaststroke. But this is Pilato's best event. If there's a chance for an upset, 
it's going to be here because I don't think she can beat her in the 100 and certainly not in the 200. Right next to her. Good start again for King. You can see she's about ahead, ahead of Pilato. A lot of the youngster in the red cap on the inside in lane number four. The gold cap belongs to King, who's 17 for 17. She pops up just in front. Molly Hanna's trying to turn on the speed as well. Here comes Pilato, though, down the stretch. King trying to hold her off, and it's going to be... Oh, King! Oh, my goodness! I thought Pilato might have had her, Bernie. I really did. I'm looking at that, and you're right, Bernie. It just seemed like Pilato might have had the lunge, but that's the finish of a champion. 11 one-hundredths of a second ahead of Pilato. It wasn't really that close when you look at the clock. 1100 sounds like close, but in a 50, really, that's, that's a pretty good win for King. It looked a lot closer to the naked eye. If you look at across the board, 18 one-hundredths of a second separated these top three swimmers. Hannah's right there with them on the finish. What a finish for King. Yeah, flying away with that one. And now what is that? 18, 18 for 18. 18 for 18. And she loves the jackpot. Lily King, 18 for 18. And for her team, 19 points in the 50 breaststroke. Kelly Condor is surging into the lead as King leads the way. Well, we wondered if Lily King would feel any nerves coming into ISL 2020, and it really appears not, because she is 18 from 18. What a woman. She is, she's phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I, I think she'd have got a little bit of a shock there, though. Palato, the little young 15-year-old Italian that's swimming for an energy standard. I mean, what a find, not just for the team, but for Italy in general. I mean, to push Lily King to point one of a second, I didn't see that coming. So over the course of these few weeks, those two rivalries, they might not meet each other if they do meet each other in the final, but what brilliant sort of the best swimmer, breaststroker against potentially the one that might take over from her. Do you think that was great vision from, from uh, general manager, well, head coach rather, James Gibson, to bring her into the team because she's brand new? No, absolutely. I mean, you, you look at your team and I, and I know some, within some of these teams, you've lost some of your better people to the other teams. Some of the people haven't been able to travel. And it's looking at your team and going, OK, where are my weak points? You've seen there with the jackpot points, you can take an awful lot of points from other teams very, very quickly. So you need to fill those gaps and not lose too many as well as gaining. Well, we can remind ourselves of that fantastic race, the 50 meter breaststroke between all these ladies. It was so tight the whole way, wasn't it, Mark? It was a great race. I think, you know, it's always one of these things you go, Lily King's on the block, she's gonna win. But there, she was pushed all the way, literally, to the last stroke. And if you think Palato, one down from her in the red cap there, Lily King in the gold cap, I mean, it looks like there's a bit of distance and she's clawing and clawing and clawing. I think one more stroke potentially, she could have got her. And at 15, you know she's going to get stronger, she's going to get more experience. So that's going to make that rivalry so good. It was so interesting to see such a young swimmer do so well against the queen, certainly of ISL and breaststroke in particular. It really is quite fantastic. But we still have one more really race of the second session. So we can head down to the pool deck in just a second as the action continues of ISL 2020. Kelly Condor is leading with 161 points energy standard. The defending ISL champions currently second and the jackpot time rule, which is a new rule here for this ISL season, has certainly played a big role early on, Rowdy. Again, it all has to do with the winner and how far behind the rest of the opponents can be. It, it, depending on the event, if you are more than the time standard that they set up, you steal the points from the swimmer that finishes fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. In fact, it's possible 
you could steal the points from the entire field. And, and that's why it's a, it's a very complicated formula. And thank goodness I don't have to be the mathematician to figure it all out. But just know you better put the energy into every race that you swim. And you do not want to get those negative points. Double points on the line here in this men's 4x100 freestyle relay. 18 points for winning, down to only two points for eighth place. In jack time, uh, jackpot times could play a factor here as well in the relays. And, and this race, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break it down, Bernie, and, it, and, and on paper, there really isn't a a clear-cut favorite. I guess energy standard lane four certainly would be when you think about LaCloa Manadou, the last two legs. Chef Star Reloff is more of a backstroker, but he can swim freestyle too. He's been on many relays. Dressel leads it off for Cali, but how much does he have left in the tank after two huge races? So Shemstov leading off for Energy Standard in lane number four. Caleb Dressel leading off for the Cali Condors in lane number five. Double points on the line. You would think that those two are the relay teams to be. And, and, and this is where, as we get into the meat or the bulk of this competition, you know, you just don't know about a lot of these swimmers. You look at Dressel, and he is so used to this type of format. You know, his days at the University of Florida, obviously last season at the ISL, you know what he's capable of. He can go back to back to back pretty easily, but being out of the water for eight months, or at least being out of competition for eight months, what's it going to take to get in there? Great start there. Marco Ferreira, Ferreira. The L.A. Curran has the early lead. Dressel and the Cali Condors touching second. I like this team that David Marsh has put together. With Shields, Golomayev, who more, more of a 50 guy, but had a great career at Alabama in the 100. Rooney at the end, we saw him grab the third place finish in the 100 fly. He's just as good in the 100 freestyle. And they're way on the outside, so you got everybody booked up here in the middle, and they're kind of feeling each other out. Really, nobody can see on the outside. If Shields can just kind of maintain that lead, or at least don't give it up too much, I think Kern has a chance. Tom Shields trying to hold on to the lead for the L.A. current halfway home. Oh. The 4 by one to really look at how tight this thing is. Cole Mayoff was really quick on that start. One thing you don't want to do is false start because not only do you give up the points, but you give your points to the winning team. The jackpot counts against DQs as well. Cole Mayoff looks like he's regained the lead. He has from a tenth of a second to almost a full second I, here. I like the current. I, I really do. You've got Rooney, who swam the very first event, which was about an hour and 15 minutes ago. So he's got plenty of time to rest. In fact, when we talked to him, that's what he said. Listen, I've got over an hour between my first and second event. So that that's a lifetime from what I'm used to. He and here's fresh, a rookie going. And he's into the water first. Golomayev has the L.A. Current in the lead, trying to get them 18 points. Current currently third in the team standings. Kolesnikov chasing down for energy standard. And, and I, don't, I don't think there's any way that Rooney is going to give up this lead. He's got, what, a two-second, almost two-second lead at the 50? No way. This guy can swim a fantastic 200. He's not going to die. He faded a little bit in the 100 fly to bring back the third, but this guy is not going to fade here. What a huge, I'd say, upset here in the men's 400 free relay. Chad LaCloe trying to give him chase for energy standard, but it's going to be Rooney. L.A. Current out of lane one, the relay winners. L.A. Current finishes first, Energy Standard second, Cali Condors third, but David Marsh and the L.A. Current trying to climb up the standings. They get the relay win in the Porter Freestyle Relay.
delighted to say that Tina Andrew, GM of the New York Breakers, is joining us here in the studio. Tina, it's great to have you here. It's been so quick so far already. What do you make of it? Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. An unbelievable start to this season. I, I cannot believe that we are actually here and we are doing it. You know, after seven months for all these guys to be out of the water, to be finally here and being in this incredible arena and everything going so fast. This whole week too was like, it was just like a blink of an eye. Well, you have 17 ISL debutants in your team. That is a lot of change from 2019 going into 2020. How are they settling in? How's the, the mood in the camp? You know what? This What I realized last year coming out of, we've had incredible um, recruits on our team last year, but nobody knew each other. And so what we made sure this year was that they connected early. We had lots of team meetings, lots of things to get the get the athletes to get to know each other. So the mood is fantastic. These guys are so hyped and they, they're cheering each other on. We're forming a great community, and I, that's why I think you're seeing the amazing swims that we've been seeing so far from them. It's, it's been extraordinary. So they've really been chomping at the bit to get in the water. Oh, so it's been a long time. It's, honestly, it's like, it's like watching racehorses, you know, before they go into the gate. That's what it's been like, watching them all ready to race. And your son as well, Michael Andrew, in your team. You must have been training with him the whole time through quarantine as well. How excited was he to get back in the pool and competing? I, I think he was a little nervous. He was like, <laughs> he's, he's a racer and he used to race all the time. And so from his speech, I could tell that he was like, you know what, can I still do this? And I'm like, it's like, you know, it's like riding a bicycle, but he, he's amazing. And he's just warming up. You guys will see amazing things from him. Well, Tina, thank you so much for joining us here in the studio. Good luck for the rest of the meet. You guys, New York Breakers are in fourth position, but there's still so much more swimming oh, to happen. Thank you. Thank you so much. You so we, much. Can, we can head back to the pool deck in just a second because there is yet so much more swimming to happen. Let's head back. Well, Lily King has proved to be the ultimate difference maker. She leads the MVP standings with 34 points here on day number one. And she's a big reason why the Cali Condors are in the lead on top of the defending champions on the first two days of match one here in Budapest. Welcome back to ISL 2020. After two sessions, it is the Cali Condors who are in the lead. Is that a surprise for you, Mark? Because coming into this, we thought it was going to be a tussle between the two, Energy Standard and Cali Condors, but they seem to be dominating at the moment. Well, the Energy Standard won last year, and that was the first ISL, so we can, but we can gauge it off that. They were very dominant last year. They didn't lose any of the competitions, any of the heat meets. So you just said coming in here they were favourites, but of course, they've lost some swimmers, they've made some changes. Some people have been on form, some people haven't been on form. But at the same time, the new jackpot system has made it really exciting because some of the lesser teams, talking to Tina Andrew from the New York Breakers, are saying that's giving us underdogs a chance because we can take some points from the bigger teams. Well, how much is that affecting the standing so far? Because we've seen it a couple of times, especially if they are doing well. If they can win a race, they can sneak the points away, can't they? Well, what was quite interesting is last time is you had some of the teams putting in some of the lesser, they kind of go, we're going to throw this event. We'll still get a point. Well, actually, now you're losing a point and you're giving a point to another team. So those numbers start adding up and, and hurt you an awful lot more. So you can't just throw, throw races. You've got to be strong in every event. Well, what would you say is that been the biggest surprise so far? Potentially maybe Caleb Dressel not winning a race or the fact that Lily King is just dominating left, right, centre? <laughs> no, I'm not surprised yeah, about exactly. Lily King. Uh, <laughs> and also Sarah Shostrom, she, she's been really strong. It's one of those things, those girls, have never. I've never seen Caleb Dressel off form, to be fair, either. But, I mean, I was looking at him and I, I've talked to him a few times and he's looking big. And I don't mean big as in he's out of shape. He's looking strong. And when you find with, with big, bigger swimmers, they tend to lean off a little bit more when they come into major competitions. So I think over the next five weeks, he'll get sharp, he'll be back to his best. And that's what we want to see. We want to see these swimmers going at it at their best. You do indeed. And I'm sure confidence is a big part of it as well. Yeah, I mean, they haven't swam now for nearly a year. 
and that's one of those things, you get on the block again, it's that uncertainty thinking, can I still do this? How does this work again? Absolutely. Well, we can head to session three in just a couple of moments' time because Cali Condors are in the lead going into session three. All right, we are getting set to close out day number one of match one of ISL 2020 and the Cali Condors in the lead and we get a chance to see a Dressel here in the backstroke. Sheridan Dressel, <laughs> Caleb's sister. Yeah, she had a, a, a very nice career herself at the University of Florida and now a rookie here on her brother's team, but it may just be her teammate, Olivia Smaliga, that just might steal this race. Well, Mina Atherton is the number one rated swimmer in this event. Olivia Smoliga, the second rated swimmer. But take a look at how good this field is. The second, third, and fourth rated swimmer in the 50 backstroke all battling it out here. A couple swimmers, top 10 all time in this event as well with Smoliga and Seabom. We've already see, seen Seabom win a race in the 200 backstroke. Gastadello, who just is outside the top 10 in history. For the current, she'll be down there at the bottom of your screen in lane, screen in lane one. Georgia Davies is probably the best energy standard swimmer in this event. There's Olivia Schmuldig. She comes in as the number two rated swimmer in the 50 backstroke. She would be the one for the field to try to upset because the top-rated swimmer in this event is not included in the field. Don't forget, Smaliga won the World Championship a couple years ago in this event, the 50 backstroke. She's got great starts. Big, tall, six feet, one inch tall, so she can really get off. Gets real deep on that turn right there. All the swimmers, such a great dolphin kick. And what a start for Olivia Schmoliga. Baradello trying to give her chase, but Olivia Schmoliga oh. getting the win for the Cali Condors, 25-74. What a swim! That's the swim in the meet right here. Right there, that is the best swim so far. That is seven one hundredths of a second off the world record. Not just the American record, but the world record. And she breaks the American record, by the way. Her own American record of 25.85. She goes 25.74. Bertie, she wins it by a half a second. Wow. There's going to be some jackpot going on here. Yeah, first 25-74. Again, trying to explain the jackpot rule. The eighth place swimmer goes 28-02. So you can see just the difference in the time. And every event has a different standard. Oh, and look at my that. She goodness. steals the points from the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, wow. and eighth. 24 points for Olivia Schmoliga. That is the biggest race. I'm telling you, it's the best race so far. Seven 100s off the world record for crying out loud. Look at this field here in the men's 50 back, uh, backstroke. Kolesnikov in three. Manadu in four. Russ Stewart for the Cali Condors in five and six. Michael Andrew in lane number seven. And don't count out Ryan Murphy in lane number one. World record holder in this event, Manadu, lane number four. However, the last time he did that was way back in 2014, five years ago. In fact, that world record has stood the test of time. Five years old. Guido from the ISL last year was close, 22-5, Reloff. Been 22-5. Got a, new, a couple of newcomers here. Watch Justin Ress and Coleman Stewart. Both of them spectacular careers for North Carolina State back home. Rookies. And in the team battle, the Cali Condor is the first team over 200 points. What a field. What a field. 
Watch out for the middle of the pool. Klesikov, man, dude, those two can really get off good. And boy, Energy Standard needs this. For the big favorites, they were sitting in second place, but way behind Cali. But the Cali Condor is trying to challenge Ryan Murphy at the bottom. Murphy's got it, 22.99. He gets under 23 seconds to win it. How about that? The Kurt scores some big points, and Reston Stewart gets second and third. We talked about those guys right there, the speedsters. Big points in there, and look at that jackpot right there. Another 24 points, but this time for the other American LA team and Ryan Murphy in the current. Wow, what a start, 22.99. That's just off of Murphy's lifetime best. He's been 22.63, so you gotta feel like he's gonna be getting close to that. Just missed the American record of 2261. Boom, right there at the end, and the two other Americans. And you can see why they're excited. Ress, yes. Stewart, doing their job and grabbing big, big points for the current. And I mean, with for that the swim for Ryan Murphy for the LA Current, they have pulled even with Energy Standard. Big time performance for Ryan Murphy. You're on day one of ISL 2020. What an incredible 50 meter backstroke couple of races there because it really hurt energy standard. It was jackpot galore, seriously. First of all, with Olivia Schmaliga. <laughs> that was an incredible swim from her, wasn't it? It was, it was great. I mean, the guys were saying only a few hundredths of a second off the world record. It just shows you the quality of swimming, but we never knew what was going to happen when it came in here what form are they going to be in, how fast are they going to go. And they're the sort of swims that you need. You saw there for the LA Current. They're kind of out of it. They go and win. They, track, they take points from other teams. All of a sudden, other teams are getting no points, and they're getting 24 points. And it's those big shifts that make this really exciting to the end. Yeah, it was Ryan Murphy who got 24 points in that 50-meter backstroke to then equal with energy standard in the standings. That was an incredible fight back from Murphy. and. Energy Standard are going to be a little bit nervous right now. Uh, yeah, they will be. They will be. I mean, you, you, we, we've seen how quickly things can change, but they're standing at the moment nearly 50 points behind Cali Condors. An awful lot of points. There's an awful lot of more points to come, but that's a lot of ground to make up. So they'll be looking at things. They might be able to change things around. We heard James Gibson earlier talking about the strategy. He's their sort of head coach. He'll look at, we might have to try and tweak things here to, to stop losing points and trying to gain some points in other events where maybe we wouldn't have got them before. Well, how important is the strategy at, at this point of, of the day? Uh, really important. I mean, the thing is, you can see, and you talk to your athletes, are they, are they swimming well? You, you can see it on the scoreboard, you can't hide. So they might just have to start moving things around without upsetting people and also keeping the confidence up within the team. Indeed. Well, it's fascinating stuff on ISL 2020 because it is the Cali Condor still in front. Let's go back poolside for the live action. Well, with one more individual event and then the relays, this is where we sit. Cali Condors, 216 points again. This is the first of two days. The match goes over two days of competition, so a lot still left to be figured out. And Energy Standard, the defending ISL champions, pretty big deficit. See, the Cali Condors cashing in with some big points from Olivia Schmoliga in that 50 backstroke. LA current Ryan Murphy cashing in with jackpot time to score some extra points and that's been the detriment we're waiting to see energy standard get a jackpot time yeah and and, and this is an event where you can really kind of stretch things out take a breath and kind of feel what you need to do as far as that that strategy goes um mark foster was talking about it during the break about you know this is this is a chess match now for these coaches and all of a sudden energy standard might have to switch things around a little bit it's almost too late to do it now but in the future tomorrow when we're live tomorrow again they could have to switch things around without upsetting the apple cart as far as egos go that's the other thing 
There's Kelsey for the New York Breakers. They are currently fourth with 118 points. So Kessley, she has a good pickup for the Breakers. She was with Team Iron last year. In fact, only three of this field returned from their respective teams last year. A lot of free agency going on in the middle distance freestyles. Hahi, Margalis, and Flicken are the only swimmers that return to the respective teams. Margalis and Flickener with Cali, and then Ahi obviously with Energy Standard. Could be a big moment for Energy Standard. They could use a big time swim. We've already seen Melanie Margalis with a successful 200 IM earlier. And, you know, as far as the MVP standings, the jackpot time rule is going to really mix things up because Sarah Showstrom came in. She was the defending champion as far as the MVP race. She had 23 and a half points. A very, very good day. But because King had a jackpot time, Shmoliga had a jackpot time, Murphy had a jackpot time, that's why they're in well, the lead in the MVP totals. And, and that's exactly right, Bernie. That's a great point in the fact that, and again, Mark was talking about it. it you, you cannot let up in these jackpots. I mean, last year, you know, it didn't matter. Just swim the race, you still get the points, but you just can't go in there with anything but all out, full force all the way. And it's not only the fact that you have to give up those points that you would have won, but the winner is critical because only the winner gets that jackpot, right? So you could have a great second place swim, but you're not going to get those jackpot times. So it's not only the last place swimmers, you know, the, the point that giving them up, but it's also that first place swimmer who gains it all. Absolutely. It's Siobhan Hahi in the early lead. A year ago, she swam 17 races, including 23 if you include the skin. She won four events. But all of her wins came in the 200 freestyle, winning in Indy, Naples, and College Park. She won one event, the 100 freestyle, in College Park at the American Derby. Member of DC Trident. So it's a big pickup for her to move here over to Energy Standard just because, again, this was an event that James Gibson wanted to upgrade. Uh, they got Bree Larson coming in, really upgrading their breaststroke ability. And that's the one cool thing about having an entire season uh, under your belt, Roddy, is you can look at where your team is, look at where your roster is. And even though the swimmers may not be swimming to the level you expected them to be here on week one of five weeks, you'd have to expect they would start to find their rhythm as we move towards the semifinals and the finals that we'll see in late November. Well, we've got a long way to go, obviously, but early on, I think, Energy Standard is going to rely on Hahi in so many ways. Here's a woman that really was built for the 200 freestyle. That's her best event, no question about it. But she can go all the way up to the 400 like she's doing here. You saw her lead off the 400 freestyle relay earlier for Energy Standard in a very quick time of 52 plus. So she can go from the 100 to the 400 like with a click of a switch. And Melanie Margalis is another one who is going to be so valuable to Cali because all of a sudden now with just 50 meters left to go, she's starting to creep up a little bit. And here she comes with a gold cap. Margalis trying to snatch away victory here in the final 50. Hi, Margalis, stroke for stroke. And Margalis is taking the lead for the Cali Condors. It's going to be Margalis. What a huge victory this is going to be. Melanie Margalis touches the wall first, 358-43. And it is first and third. Even more points going to the Cali Condors who already lead. Oh my goodness. Talking about salt in the wounds, right? I mean, you thought that Hahi had this race the entire, well, entire 350 meters anyway. And then all of a sudden, Boy, Melanie Margallis, and there's right where she went by her. She could see her. She's got her in her eye. And even though Hahi looked so good early on, remember, she is more of a 100 and 200 swimmer. Margallis, on the other hand, on the right-hand side, she could go all the way up to the 800, even the 1500. 
And look at these splits. 159.5, 158.9 on the back half for Mark Gallus for a 358 plus. What a spectacular swim. And look at the math here. Jackpot times 21 points scored as Mark Gallus snatches away a few. And the final time in that heat did not meet the minimum time standard. And now our final individual event on the men's side is the men's 400 freestyle where energy standard and getting Danis Rapsis on to their team. That's a big pickup for them. Oh, huge. I mean, right now might be the best 200, 400 freestyler in the world. That That is, uh, I, I think, without a doubt, the biggest free agency signing of any team. So Rapsis will be in the middle with Max Lipfield. Rapsis, multiple time Lithuanian record holder. This is a guy that is a Lithuanian record holder in backstroke, freestyle, and butterfly, which is almost an ideal scenario if you're looking for an ISL swimmer. You like to have a yeah. guy like Rapsis or Akilah Dressel that can score a bunch of points. And, yeah, yeah, versatility. Yeah, you're, you're so right. And you need that, especially in this type of format. You, you, again, it, it's a chess match. You, you, you got to throw these guys, these women, into so many different situations. Not a lot of high rankings here. So this is why this event is really wide open. Here's Townley Haas, for example. One of the great 500 and 200 freestylers in American history, no question about it. Litchfield and Rapsis. And then, and then the, probably the best pure 400 freestyler is Albach, way up there in lane number seven, making his ISL debut. Yeah, Felix Albach could be a real game changer for the New York Breakers. Again, just really depends on what type of form these guys are in. Felix Albach has Olympic history. 13th at the World Championships long course in this event. Uh, I, 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 again, I, I think this race is all about Rapses. He's the third fastest performer in history. He did that last year in December. This is his debut, ISL debut, right here. What a huge victory this would be for him. And Energy Standard, not sure they can actually catch Cali, at least today, but we got a big day yet ahead. This is only one of two days of competition, so there's still a lot of swimming left. The current right there in third, just behind Standard. Yeah, Jakob Heitman and Fernando Scheffer currently swimming second and third here, but Rapsis, he's thinking about snatching away some jackpot times from this entire field right now, the lead that he's built early on. Boy, he has built that huge lead, and, and think about the debuts of five different swimmers in this race. The ISL debut for five swimmers, Scheffer, Heitman, and of course Rapsis, Bakla and Albach. And we'd like to welcome into the broadcast Dave Durden, uh, the men's U.S. Olympic head coach. And Dave, great to have you with us. What is it like for you getting to see some of your swimmers competing in ISL 2020? Well, if you can't tell from the face mask, I am smiling. And hopefully you can hear me very well through this. Uh, but it's, it's great to be racing again. It's great to be at a meet. It's great to be at a professional meet. And it's great to be at an, in an environment that's taking care of some of the best swimmers in the world. David, what are you thinking about the most? What are you looking for the most during your stay here? Uh, I'm trying to figure this out like everyone else. Right. So just looking at the protocols, how we eat, how we move, how we're being very responsible in this pandemic, both socially and then trying to create a team dynamic. So. This is very important for me to be out here and seeing this, because as you know, Rowdy, going out to Tokyo and having that USA swimming team dynamic, competing together as a group is something that we need to do in order to get on the podium out in Tokyo. And we're seeing a little bit of that dynamic here in terms of the different teams, how they're interacting, how they're coming together as a group. How special is it, uh, David, to have you know, we talked to Maxine Rooney earlier, and he said that this is probably a once-in-a-lifetime type thing to have the best swimmers in the world all in one place for five weeks getting to compete and train with one another. Uh, and if you think about the last five months for these guys, this is 
sort of swimming utopia for them. They get to come in, train with some of the best in the world, race with some of the best in the world, and they're going to get better over these six weeks. So it's been just a great thing for our sport. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on thank our you. broadcast. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, great thank great you job. Yeah, thank Dave you. Durden, head coach of the U.S men's Olympic team wraps us in the lead for energy standard. So much talent in this pool getting to race for the first time in months. Rapsis looks in form folks 339 36. New York breakers will go second and third Brandon Smith and Felix Albach. Well, he's definitely going to pick up a jackpot at least in eight. And a good start there for Rapses in his debut here with the ISL. 339, his best lifetime is 333. But again, you kind of throw the clock out the window here. It's all about the points you score for your team, and he's going to score some jackpot there. Rapsis earning 12 points for energy standard. On to the maybe the most important race coming up next, the 400 medley relay. Energy Standard will be delighted to scoot the jackpot victory in the last individual race of day one of ISL 2020 in match one. And it's now, Mark, all down to the release. And first of all, the women's four by 100 meter. What can we expect from that? Because it's going to be a lot of pressure. Um, what's made it so different this year to last year is, it's, it, it might sound stupid, but it's not just another race. I mean, it is, but what's at stake? because ultimately the skins race, which comes at the end of tomorrow, where the competition can kind of sway on that one event. Whatever team wins this women's medley relay and the men's, they get to choose what stroke is going to happen in the skins tomorrow. So the skins is 350 meter races with three minutes between each race, but they can go for a breaststroke, a backstroke, whatever suits them, whatever their strength is. So I kind of say with the Cali Condors, Lily King's going in this relay, She's kind of unbeaten. If they, if they win it, I'd be surprised if they didn't go, OK, we'll have the 50 breaststroke for the women's skins tomorrow. Well, we can have a look at their lineup right now. And Lily King certainly is the favourite in this relay. Really. She's going to be doing everything she can in order to be able to pick that stroke. But what about on the men's side as well? There, there's a lot up for grabs on the men's side too. Very much so. But we've seen always a few upsets already with Caleb Dressel. <laughs> so there's kind of like More no so saying. Absolutely, absolutely. So the thing is, what you look at here is you don't want to lose points because it's double points. So you've got to load both the teams because you don't want to lose the, lose the points. But also, you can't just have two good teams. You need one great team because you want them to be the winners to choose the skins. So and that, also with the women's here, you've got Sarah Schroestrom. Do, what, do, what, do uh, what do Energy Standard do there? There's so many ways it can happen. Well, just two races left of day one. We can head down to the pool deck for the 4x100 meter relays. All right, a lot happening here on day one of ISL 2020. Cali Condors in the lead, 236 points. Energy Standard second, 187 points. LA Current third with 172 points. And the Breakers currently in fourth position. But this, as we mentioned, going to break. Maybe one of the most important events of the entire first day. It's the 400 medley relay and the big key is the winning relay team gets the pick the skins on the female side tomorrow rowdy and and, this, and, and you've got to remember the skins are so huge because the point total is such a big big part of this at the end of the meet so you could be way behind and you win that skins and pick up some extra points you could bring yourself right back into this meet but one would think that the relay team to beat would be this group in lane number five, Olivia Schmoliga, yep. Lily King, Kelsey Dahlia, and Erica Brown. That's it. They're stalwart. I mean, that is top to bottom. There is no weakness in that relay right there. I mean, they, I mean, you saw Smoliga almost break the world record in the 50 back. You know Lily King, obviously. Dahlia, 
second in the Hunter Fly. And then Erica Brown, the great rookie who is having a spectacular first day of her in her rookie year. This, this is definitely the team to beat. Although you do have Shoystrom. <laughs> Don't forget about her and what she did in the free relay came from behind. So she can definitely come from behind here again. Yes, she will anchor Energy Standards relay team in lane number four again. Not only double points, but to the winner, they pick the stroke of the skins race tomorrow. That's one of the new changes here for ISL 2020. And, and what's so interesting about that is Energy Standard is definitely not going to pick the 50 breasts. They'll either pick the fly or the freestyle with Shoystrom in there. So this is this is a, 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 an event, at least from the grand scale of it, things. I'm talking five weeks grand scale. This yep. is a more important event, I think, for Cali than it is even for Energy Standard. Here this weekend, it's, it's much bigger for Energy Standard, but for the grand scheme of things, this all of a sudden says to Cali, we win this relay, we pick the skins, we can win this whole thing, we can defeat the defending champions. Yeah, because it'd be hard to imagine that there would be a swimmer on the planet that would take down Lily King in 350s of breaststroke, right? Yeah, I mean, it, I just can't imagine. It, it is possible, no question about it. I mean, we saw that almost happen earlier in the 50 with that youngster Pilato, and then look at Smaliga, 55-6. What a start, what a start, 55-6. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Cali. Well, a season ago, the Cali Condors, they have 16 of their swimmers returning. They brought four swimmers in, and they have 12 making a debut. But they were the top women's scoring team in all of the ISL a year ago. This was their key. And right now, they have a chance potentially to even go Dare I say one, two in the relay? <laughs> Can you imagine? I, uh, again, the depth of Cali and the women. I said it at the very top of the broadcast. There's no doubt that Cali has the best women's team. You, you can really see that on display here now. But it is a combined meet. It is not women versus uh, women. This is women and men together. And that's where Energy Standard still has that chance. Halfway home, Cali Condors. First and second, King and Hannes getting them into the lead. By the way, Smaliga was 15 one hundredths of a second off her, her American record, her own American record leading off that relay. Her team, Cali Condors, 49 point advantage over energy standard. LA Current, third place. Double points for relays, 18 points for first, all the way down to only two points for eighth place. And it shows you how good Cali is in this race. I mean, they are finishing one, two, the first two legs. Hannes actually outsplit King on the breaststroke. She was 104 flat, Hannes was 1039. That's how good that B relay team is. They're gonna pick up some points. All right, Dahlia giving way to the rookie. Erica Brown diving in. Solid for Dahlia, 55-9. The question is, can Shoystrom somehow track down the rookie, Erica Brown? Well, two seconds. She's got about two seconds of a disadvantage. And uh, this is Erica Brown right now, who knows how to swim a race like this, has done it so many times in her collegiate season and as a rookie she's kind of just looking right there see how she breathes to the right real quick to see where she's at making sure she's got enough to get home and i think she's going to do it brown trying to hold off Shara Shoystrom. Shoystrom trying to make a push because energy standard wants to pick the skins but no it's going to be the condors they will pick the skins tomorrow as they win the relay and in fact Cali Condors go first and third. Wow. That is huge. And if you look at how strong these two relays, Cali's first and third, Energy Standard's second and fourth. By the way, should I tell you that King, still unbeaten? Still unbeaten. 19 for 19. 
I, we may end up jinxing her. <laughs> we, better, we better keep quiet from now on. <laughs> One of these times we're going to jinx her. Uh, that's, a, that's a big time swim for Callie and all four of those women, Smaliga, King, Dahlia, and Brown. By the way, Dahlia was 55-9, 52-2 on Erica Brown. All right, Mark is down with Jonte Skinner, the head coach of the Cali Condors. John C. Skinner, winner for the, winning for the team there. Great result. Great result there. It's great. I mean, we're really happy with the way we swam today. We've had a couple of events that weren't great, and we'll fix that up as we go along. But, you know, traveling across the world and swimming as well as we've done today, it's been pretty awesome. Yeah, we all know it was at stake there. What, what event are you going to choose for the Skinners? Um, we're going to have a... <laughs> I hear the announcers making my decision for me, so that's probably going to be stressful. But it's a big call, right? So, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. thank you very much. Well oh, done. Well, Jonathan Skinner already telling us. I, I would say Bresto could be a, a pretty good go. <laughs> it's a pretty good choice, don't you think? Uh, Jonathan's such a, uh, a great man, great mind of swimming. I remember watching him, I was telling him earlier when we were on the deck with him, I remember watching him break a world record in the 100 meter freestyle in Philadelphia in a three foot pool back in 1976, 49-44. All right, here's where we sit. 55 points is the lead for the Cali Condors over Energy Standard. Condors 266 points, Energy Standard 211 points. I like the current, I really do. I mean, they're very similar to Cali for the women. They really don't have a weakness. Lacombe may be in breaststroke, but he's not weak. It's just might be the weakest link of these three, Murph, Shields, and Rooney. There's another Olympic gold medalist. You've got the past two Olympic gold medalists leading off for their respective teams. I'm talking about Mac Grievers for Energy Standard. And that's the B team. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> you lead off your Olympic gold medalist as a B teamer? <laughs> that, folks, is the ISL. We are loaded with talent. Oh. And we're only seeing four of the 10 teams in the league here to start. In fact, on Sunday and Monday, we see London DC, the Aqua Centurions, and then Team Iron, and then the two newest teams, the Tokyo Frog Kings and the Toronto Titans, they will join the party next weekend. But right now, all eyes are on this four by 100 meter medley relay where just like the Cali Condors did on the women's side, the winner of this one is going to pick for us the men's skins battle at the end of this meet. All right, Murphy looks real good, picking off right where he left off in the 50 backstroke, 49.96, he actually, only guy to break 50 on that. Only guy to break 23 in the 50. And now's the only guy to break 50 in the 100. One thing you know is that James Gibson and Energy Standard, they would love to make a pick. Well, here, here's where Energy Standard is, is going to have to do it. Here in the middle of the pool, Shamanovich and then, of course, Laclo. And they've got two strong middle swimmers right here. Lacone. Down there at the bottom has relinquished that lead now to Shimanovich. Remember, he won the 100 earlier and got a ton of speed and then goes into Laclo. I was talking about like in the Kern, and then I forgot to look in the middle of the pool for energy standard with Shimanovich and Laclo. And they will anchor with Simonis Bellis. Laclo dives into the pool first. Energy Standard, they were kind of the, the relay masters James Gibson was a year ago. But, but here's the deal. Shields upset Laclo in the Hunter Butterfly. In fact, Laclo was fourth in the Hunter Fly. So if anybody can bring him back, it's Tom Shields who pulled off the big upset earlier. But Laclo's swimming a different race right now. He, he just looks a lot Smoother. You see him quick, a quick look? He looks both times. He looked twice underwater. Did you see that, Bernie? Laclo in the lead, about a second ahead of Tom Shields, trying to put Energy Standard in the lead as we head to the anchor leg of this 4 by 100 meter medley relay. 
Shimanovich was 56 flat. Lacone was 58-4. That's a big difference. That might be the difference maker right here. Now, Rooney, remember, he was right there all the way to the end in the fly and had a great split. I think the fastest split of anybody in the field in the Hunter freestyle. And here he comes. Rooney trying to track him down. He's on the left side of your screen. Billis turning. Oh, only one-tenth of a second in front of Rooney. Here comes Maxim Rooney for the L.A. Current. Billis trying to hold on for energy standard. What a day for the rookie. Regardless of how this shakes up, this is a day that this rookie will remember forever. Rooney trying to spoil it, trying to upset energy standard, and he does it. He did it. it. He did it. Rudy comes home to win it, and the current, they will pick the skins. Oh, wow. What a day for Maxime Rudy. There's your MVP swimmer right there, the rookie. The rookie gets it done by six one hundredths of a second. Wow. Back and forth they went, right, Bernie? I mean, they went back and forth. The backstroke with Murph. Middle of the pool with Shamanovic and Laclo. And Mark Foster's down with Dave Marsh to find out what they might pick. Yeah, Tommy. So, Dave. Out of boy. Congratulations, we know what that means. Yeah, it's awesome. That's really important. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a hammer and we're going to probably uh, pound on a nail. Yeah. And what are you thinking? You're gonna, can you tell us what you're going to choose for the skins tomorrow? Well, I probably, I probably will go backstroke. We got a, we got a really good backstroker, as you know, and uh, he's swimming really well. Had a great night tonight. But I uh, really had to think. I, 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 I feel like that's what we'll do. And, I, the, you know, Tommy's awfully good in fly, so we can go fly. So, yeah, it's going to be, a, you know, this, this jackpot's crazy. Crazy, Mark. What the heck is going on here? So I got to reevaluate how I'm doing the lineup a little bit different. I didn't realize some of the things that were going to happen here. I love it though. It's very, it keeps it very exciting. The nice thing is you got options. Congratulations. We, do. we look forward to seeing what you do tomorrow. We do. Thank you. Well, that is going to do it for day one of match one. The Cali Condors with a 45-point lead over Energy Standard. Back here tomorrow to conclude it. For Mark Foster, Rowdy Gaines, and our entire ISL crew, I'm Bernie Gunther saying so long from Budapest. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.